Hey guys, welcome back to my Lady Boss YouTube channel. So today what we're going to talk about is how to get through those bad days. You know, everybody has them and it's just something that we have to all deal with. And at the end of the day, if you're going through a situation where you're going through a breakup, you have like a lot of work stress, you have friend or family drama, or even maybe if someone had passed away, everybody is going to have those bad days or situations happen to them, but it's all going to come down to how you handle those types of situations and how to be proactive towards them. So that's why I came up with these four tips today on how to get through your bad days. But before we do get started into this video, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do post videos every Thursday. And then I will also link my Instagram handle right here as well too, so you can follow me on social media. But other than that, let's go ahead and get into my four tips on how to overcome a bad day. My very first tip is to take it one day at a time. So sometimes you have to accept those bad days or situations that you were just in, and that is completely normal. And from then on, you want to go ahead and just try to collect yourself, collect your thoughts, and just allow yourself to be able to process the entire situation. So when you do allow yourself to think of the whole entire process of everything or just being able to think everything through, that's when you can get to the next point and be able to create a plan for yourself where you know that you can take it one day at a time and do things that won't overwhelm you so you go back into that negative headspace. And then that's when I wanted to get into my next point because that's where you can actually truly start to be overly productive. As I had just mentioned, my tip number two is to be overly productive. So sometimes you just have to keep yourself a lot busier than you normally would, so you're not having those negative thoughts, worries, or sadness keep running through your mind. And this is literally like a healthier option for some people to go through because sometimes they need this to be able to get out of their rut. You know, sometimes for example, maybe you can run those errands and not procrastinate and do them after you get off of work so you're not just sulking at home. Or maybe it's taking that yoga class or that dance class that you've always wanted to take and now you can start to implement it or even do like another hobby or project that you've always wanted to take on and this is the perfect time to do that. So by doing these things, it's going to help you not trap yourself in your emotions or your thoughts. And that's one way to help you get closer and closer to get on that pathway to be able to try to shift your mind, shift your mood set and get you on a better and happier path. My third tip is to set yourself up for the next day. So say for example that today was your bad day. You need to get in the habit of forcing yourself to think of whatever had happened that day to you does not define what can happen to you tomorrow. You need to go ahead and prep yourself and just get yourself into that mindset that you don't want to try to be irritated the next morning when you wake up. So what you can do is you need to take that situation head on and deal with it that same day. So for example, what you can do is you can maybe try to talk it out with a roommate or a friend and you can maybe try to get a different point of view and then come to a resolution with it. So, or or if that doesn't work for you, then what you can also do is do something that's personal and internal that'll help you relax and calm down from that bad day or situation. So whether it's taking a bubble bath, whether it's going to get a massage, whatever you need to do to be able to set yourself up for success for the next day, because you want to try to avoid continuously having one bad day after another. Everybody's lives are just so valuable that you don't want to keep wasting it each and every single day being upset. It's just not worth it. And so that's why just try to get a handle over your bad situation and try to just get through it as best as you can so you can move on and then you can enjoy you know, your life and become a happier person. My last and final tip is that these obstacles will go ahead and make you a stronger person. So every single time that you are dealing with a tough situation, I just really want you to remember that it will teach you a very valuable life lesson and you will be able to become a better and stronger person than you have ever been before. All that pain, all that suffer that you have gone through, it will teach you that you have that potential, that you have that strength to overcome it and move forward with your life because you're here today and you're getting on with your life. I understand that at some points, you know, that things might not be in the greatest favor for you, but just trust me, that pain, keep pushing through it, you will be able to get through it 
And at the end of the day, you will be able to become a better version of yourself and be able to live a very happy lifestyle. All right, so I'm going to close out my video today. I hope that you enjoyed these four tips on how to overcome a bad day. I hope that you can implement this in your life because I get it, everybody has those bad days, but we are here today and that's all that matters. So anyways, I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.